What's up, folks, and welcome to The Modern Truth. I'm MJ, here with Alex Storm, and today we're going to talk about Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. As always, this is a spoiler discussion, so if you haven't seen the movie, go check it out. Come back and watch our video. So, Alex, what did you think of Mission Impossible Rogue Nation? I liked it. Um... I didn't know, I guess I wasn't expecting a lot. It's been a while since I saw a Mission Impossible movie, except for our Throwback Thursday Mission Impossible on the original. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool. There was a lot of action. Um, there was really cool uh, badass lady in this movie, which was awesome. And Tom Cruise, as much as he's not my guy, you know, he's okay. I could actually, he's I could okay. still, I could still believe he's this badass dude, even though he's, you know, pushing 100 now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, badass might, I don't know. I, I don't know if I would call him a badass, but whatever it is, bat shit is more like it. Um, <laughs> but it still works. Uh, yeah, dude is intense, man. You know, uh, is Tom Cruise the last living movie star? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe Will Smith still is. He's just making wrong choices right now. Tom Cruise will not settle. He will not join an ensemble in which he is not the centerpiece. Yeah. Damn it, Tom Cruise will kill himself to make sure you're entertained. And he almost did, apparently, a few times making this movie. Um, so I don't know. I mean, look, check it out. We're gonna do a little different here. There's no point in dissecting the plot. And as far as the spoiler discussion goes, it's Mission Impossible, which means that you can't spoil it because the shit doesn't make any sense anyway. So let's just talk about the action scenes. You know, talk about the, the first scene where he's on the side of the plane. You know, all the press about the movie is about this scene because they're like, he was really hanging on the side of that plane when that thing took off, you was know. Was it really him? Yeah. Really? All the, everything that's come out has said that Tom Cruise was strapped to the side of a plane as it took off. Oh my gosh. For that I scene. was looking really hard to see if it was him and I couldn't tell. But yeah, that was that was one of my favorite scenes actually. Like the fact that it opened that way and I you know, I was expecting this. I was expecting to go in and be waiting for the entire movie for Tom Cruise to be hanging off the plane. <laughs> and then it was the first scene. I was like, "Okay, I'm good." That was what I wanted to see. That's what I came here for. And um, what other action sequences did you like besides the plane one? Well, first of all, the plane one wasn't even on my top three list. Really? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was cool. I like that one a but, lot. But I mean, just opening up, I think that's what it was. There was so much hype around it for me. I was like, okay, yeah, this is cool. But no, almost all the other ones were awesome. You know, <laughs> I mean, the freaking underwater sequence was crazy to me. It was really, really intense, really inventive in some ways. You know, again, goofy and stupid, but still just fun. You know, and like at the end of the day, let's not overanalyze it. Because again, for as thick as the plot is in this film, it just makes absolutely no sense. So there's no point really being all that worried about it. But I still think the standout action sequence in the film is the motorcycle chase sequence. Um, you know, it starts off as a car chase, turns into a motorcycle chase. And this is another one of these things. It's like Tom Cruise is riding this motorcycle through a good portion of these stunts, you know. It just adds a level of legitimacy to everything you're seeing when you know it's not a digital stuntman's head plastered on someone or this is a completely different person who's going to do all this crazy stuff. Tom Cruise is fucking crazy, man. And that's what, and that's why I love the guy. You know, it's just something about the absurdity of a dude basically becoming an action star when he's like 40, you know, or almost 40. Like, that's when he started doing all these movies. That's when he like started taking stunt training to be a stunt driver and a stunt motorcyclist and all this stuff. And this dude, just, it, it just, yeah, it's just, you know, yeah. I, I think if I had known that, I, I mean, I like those. I like those sequences for sure. But if I had known that, rather than thinking about whatever was going on in that scene and what might not make sense about it, I would have been thinking about Tom Cruise and how he was nearly dying in these scenes. Um, <laughs> instead of thinking about how like these cards are all wet and wondering how it works for these wet cards to be plugged in <laughs> and uh, wondering how you survive a motorcycle crash when you're not wearing a helmet or any padding and you don't even like get scraped up. So yeah. I was thinking about that too much. If I had known it was Tom Cruise, maybe I would have been worried about his well-being during these scenes instead. Like thinking like, oh my God, is he... Is well, he able to breathe? Like, totally is he going to be okay? Random shot. Okay, well, Tom Cruise was not actually holding his breath for three minutes, course, I don't think. Of course, But, like, even, yeah, in the, in the motorcycle scene where he's, like, leaning, right? And it's, like, his yeah. knee is just, like, inches away from the... Yeah. Uh, it's, like, this is awesome. <laughs> it's, like, yes. No, and I guess for me, you know, much more, like, particular about filmmaking and just looking at how shots are uh, created and stuff. It's really sensitive to, like, special effects and any bullshit. I was, like, No. This is legit, man. This dude is riding this fucking motorcycle right now, and that's why this gets extra points for me, you know? Cool. So, you know, the movie gets high marks for me because, again, like, get over it, man. As far as action movies go this year, it's like there are only three action movies to talk about this year as far as I'm concerned, and the fact that we have a third is refreshing for me. 
I'm not gonna put it in the same tier as the other two. Really, there's three different tiers. Let me just be clear about that. As you guys know, Mad Max Fury Road is at the top of the mountain. And shockingly, even to myself, uh, Fury 7 is the number two action movie of the year. But I, I gotta put uh, Rogue Nation right there at number three, for, you know, for what I've seen th this year. So. <laughs> I mean, I don't disagree with you. I, the action was awesome. It was totally entertaining. I wasn't, there was no point in this movie where I was like bored, I guess. I was ready for it to be over when it was over, but it was entertaining the entire time. And I think that my favorite part, personally, because the action was good, my favorite part was the woman. Um, especially having so recently watched the first Mission Impossible and seen how weak the women characters were. <laughs> this woman was able to hold her own fighting. She was able to hold her own, like, um, handling all the same shit that the guys do. She even got to rescue Tom Cruise at one point, mm -hmm. which I thought was a bold move and good <laughs> on their part. So I, I liked her. She was probably yeah. my favorite part. I feel like that she's been what everyone has been talking about. I mean, she mm -hmm. definitely was a standout character in this. And just, yeah, impressive across the board. I mean, you know, I uh, one of the biggest things whenever you have a female action star is that I need to be able to buy this person as mm -hmm. you know like and in every aspect as a sniper as a motorcyclist as a you know knife wielding combat like everything she did mm -hmm. even though in her case there were you know stunt people involved uh it still felt like yes i could buy her mm -hmm. being this badass secret agent so that you know was cool my issue of course is that she like double cross chain sides 25 different times and the main bad guy to move in for me though i found his voice and his face to be interesting uh, I don't know that any of it made any sense. Or he again, was I mean, not a scary bad guy. Yeah, he, he was, was just not somebody you yeah, he, took seriously. Yeah, he wasn't scary at all because if he was, he would have shot her in the head like three times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, yeah. uh, I don't know how many times I need to give you another opportunity. <laughs> like, dude, you been smoking or something? You need a, you need trick out miss? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was really digging him. But that's but, again where you don't have to pay that much attention to the story. It's yeah, just, and, and it doesn't. He just does. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. This whole thing is about. Tom Cruise doing crazy stuff. And guess what? Tom Cruise does all kinds of crazy stuff in this movie, and he does it with flair. So, you know, I don't know, man. Like I say, I'm a Tommy, uh, flag waving uh, member of the Tommy Cruise fan club, uh, and this guy puts out movies. I got to go see him. And if you guys are skeptical about Tom Cruise because he's, you know, a Scientologist, a little whacked out, whatever, man. It's the dude for makes awesome <laughs> movies. Exactly. So, so watch his movies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, anyway. he's cool. I, I'd recommend this movie for someone who likes Mission Impossible movies and action <laughs> movies, I guess. I don't know. At this point, there are so many of them. It's not it is that a, a high genre. on my list, but I, I was entertained. Yeah. What more could you ask for? Well, I guess, is that it? That's, That's all we got to say about me. this? All right, so that will conclude our discussion of Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Uh, again, I'm MJ, and you can follow me on Twitter at the only MJ, and she is. I'm Alex Storm. You can follow me at Alex Storm TMT. <laughs> That's in the modern truth. And the modern truth. <laughs> the modern truth .com is where you can find all of our movie discussion videos, Throwback Thursday videos, and all the news you need to know. Thanks again for tuning in, folks, and take care.